a cup of water and a British gas or the same, same message to both of you, you know. I'm on a, I'm finding it very hard to find any place in my home uh, due to my paranoia and fear. Uh, I'm on a doctor's detox for prescription addiction and I'm getting all these threats and bills and they're scaring the shit out of me. Uh, you know, I don't think it's very kind of you. Your, your company is British Gas, uh, um, Southern Water, you know, you're, you're all the same. You know, I'm keeping it again in the letters, so this, I'm saying this letter to both of you, you know. Uh, you know, I'm Seven Park Crescent, working EN 11488. My name is Andrew Richmond. And, uh, you know, it's, we live in a world where Violence seems to be violence is the norm and fear is the way of life. And if anyone tells you any difference, like they seem to, I would say they're deluded. You know, it's traffic. You know, it's uh, everything's fucked up, man. And it's just I, I took that letter as a threat. You know, as soon as I read it, I was popping more Valium. You know, I'm trying to get off Valium, prescription addiction. You know or addiction to prescribe medication if you want to put it in a different way, you know? Or I don't know the um, uh, terminology for a lot of things, but uh, I'm 42 and I've been an addict since I was 28. I haven't had a drink. I was a uh, recovering alcoholic. I haven't had a drink coming up for five years with the help of Alcoholics Anonymous. And, uh, every day I have to for a reason not to shoot myself or kill myself, you know, proverbially basically uh, commit suicide, you know, I feel suicidal all the time. 24-7 I'm, uh, I've got fear of running through my pain and stuff, so when I read that letter, uh, I just ran out of the house, you're not helping me, you're actually making me worse, you know. I've got no money, I'm, now, now I'm finding out I'm not on even the right benefits, some of I'm not on income or, or this incapacity benefit or you know, something I thought I was. But unless you can tell these people, they won't tell you. It's the world we live in. Everyone's on the take. No one no one's wanna give. No one wants to give anything. You know, I haven't even got a loaf of bread. The milk in the fridge is past the set sell by day in two thousand and eight. You know? That's where I'm coming from. That's what I want you to hear. Uh, because I'm telling you the truth. Uh, and I'm telling you all my fears. I'm disclosing myself to you. you know? Not many people would do this. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I can't win, can I? Uh, you threatened to take me to court. You know, it's like a comedy of errors. 54, 15 quid just for the letter. This letter cost 15 quid. This was just southern water, but let's put it all together. Like, I'm not criticizing anyone here or, or judging. I'm just saying as it is. Uh, and then 55 quid to break into my house and turn that electricity off. You know what? I have to pay someone to break into my house. You know, that's like, you know, I'm half Irish. You know, that's like an Irish joke, you know. You know uh, Paddy from Donegal, uh, the coroner, was had a police knocked on the door and said, hey, we are suspicious of the circumstances. Why did he die with a smile on his face? Struck by a lightning, he thought he was having his photo taken. You know, I can laugh at that, you know, because I'm open-minded. But I'm a musician, I'm an artist, uh, that's all I do. I'm not a lazy bum that's on every benefit, but maybe I should start getting on more benefits. Then I'll be able to pay the bills. I've got council tax, I've just moved to a place, my mum's got cancer, my dad might have cancer, I'm looking out for my mum. We live within about 15 minutes drive away from each other. Uh, I've lived alone before, uh, been evicted in my drinking days, I, I've been a bad boy, I've travelled around the world, I was a bit born in Brazil. I'm um, full of labels, doctors give me post-traumatic stress disorder, OCD, and 
constantly having panic attacks, paranoia, and all this shit. And uh, I'm on lustral, sertraline, as uh, uh, um, one of the new, well, new antidepressant serotonin uh, SSRIs. I've tried every medicine in the book antipsychotics, anti this, anti this, because in the end my body just gets accustomed to it and I find no comfort. It just takes the edge off, you know. Uh, and I'm scared. That's all. At the bottom line is I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know who to ask for help. I don't know how. Uh, everything seems to be online. I can't pay at the post office. I can't pay by check. I don't want to open direct debit because then I might not have the money in it and then I get a fine for that on the bank. I'm constantly on the, you know, I'm going to have to be what, constantly running away from myself, you know. Uh, I'm a sick person trying to get well. I'm not a bad person, okay. So I have all respect for you, but I wish you, uh, I can't wish, you know, it's the way it goes. Big corporates, there's no signature by someone's hand. It's just letters sent out by the millions every day. So there's nothing unusual about my case. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Uh, I think I'll leave it there. And it's going to be fucked up here. Andy Richmond, uh, you're talking to him right now. I'm talking to you. Okay, cheers. Bye. This is where I come to my AA meeting in this church. You can see above here. Uh, it's kind of funny fucking fun. Uh, well, it's a church. There's an AA meeting in there, Alcoholics Anonymous, okay? I'm no shame about uh, revealing my anonymity. Cheers. Thank you. It's going to help. Thanks.